Okay. It's been a week for me, you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, whining. it's been a week, but I'm okay now, you guys. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm you, okay. Want, you want to tell us about I'm your okay. week, Danny? They told me. Yeah. Huh? Is they, that what you want to do? Is that yeah, what you're trying to get us? People like me. Yeah. You're a good person. Just smile. You look good today. Sorry. These are self-help things. That help well, let's me. get into the show, and then you can tell yeah. us about your week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's talk right. about it. Go. Right, we're back for another episode of the show. Episode 52. Is it really? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like 60. <laughs> Is it? I think it's 60. Okay. Yeah. Episode 60. Pay attention. Okay. Wow. As always, we got... Wow. Are you surprised? <laughs> A little bit. Okay. Well, so are we. I don't know why people would keep watching you three. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't, know we either. don't either. We're not sure. Who says they're watching? We do this for fun. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a good reason to get together. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got Gunny Matheson, Joe Schmidt, and tonight we have our special guest, Dwayne Latimer. The, the legend. Second time. Second time. Yeah, second time. Second Two time legendary so, Dwayne Latimer. Yeah, we're hoping uh, that you Legendary. Know, old. Yeah. Legendary. No, you were on our second show, I think. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think yeah so. it was right at, close to the beginning. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it okay. was. You know how I got him on the show tonight? Yeah, he lied. I called him and I said, hey, what are you doing? This is about 10 o'clock this morning, 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah, just riding. Hey, you want to have dinner tonight? He says, yeah, I think I could do that. All right, well, sounds good. He says, what time? I said, 6 o'clock. Okay, where? It will just come to my house and dress nice. <laughs> and then he cussed me. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the gig is up. I used to get people on our show by telling them, listen, you get all the proceeds to the videos. I mean, you make all the money. We're not going to make any of yeah. it. But the, wor- the, the words got out. That yeah. The, the royalties aren't worth it. Yeah, the pay is poor. The pay is poor. Yeah, so for sure. We, we tricked Dwayne, the legend, to get here. Yeah, uh, what's, it, what's it feel like in your most humblest... As many words as possible, just being a legend in our eyes. <laughs> yeah, how does it feel to be a legend? Well, you know, you, if you, you really meant that, we could have a conversation. First, I'm not. He does mean you're full of yeah. shit. No, you are. no, I 100% mean it. But you're the most humblest person, if that's a word. I, I don't know if these are words yet. No, I think it's no. good. Yeah, has that been woke yet? <laughs> no, woke. I think you're good with that. Uh, the humblest. One of the most humble people most I've met. Most humble. Yeah. So, you know, you're not somebody that brags or talks about yourself, but I look up to you. Uh, I look up to you more than I look up to Joe and damn sure more than I look up to Tom. <laughs> to Tom. I mean, well, I we, appreciate we both look up to you. So more there. So we don't look up that to make him. you feel good? Sure it does. Yeah. yeah 100%. So that's, that's something pretty nice to say, Gunny. Yeah. Oh, I'm that a big really fan. Is. Yeah. I no, mean. Definitely. This guy, this is the horse trainer's trainer. I mean, he's... He's the man. Excuse me for a minute, you guys. It's getting hot in here, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. We got some, we got some oh, Wow. Hey, look wow. at the t-shirt. <laughs> okay. Well, the show. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> nice. Huh? That hasn't been woke like yet. That's I pretty like good. it. That's pretty good. Yeah. I said something on our show with Van Landingham. Ah, well, should I bring it up again? Should no. I say the word again? I think you should not. <laughs> okay. Well. It was fine. I it said fine. something that was fine to say, but they didn't think so. So they're down the there time. cracking up. Yeah. They are busting. And I'm like, what are they? I'm talking to Jason. What are they talking about? And then I finally figured it out. And my comment to them was, guys, that hasn't been woke yet. So, so I got it made a shirt. Monica make that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Monica pretty made good. a shirt. Well, it had to good. Be. Hey, yeah. did we turn off that? Yes. Oh, okay. I was gonna get Tom a shirt that says he's pretty good around the hole, but <laughs> oh yeah, we, I just didn't get it done yet. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff out of Jason's show for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, we got Dwayne here. What have you been up to? <laughs> Other than being legendary. Yeah. Yeah, legendary and humble. Just riding, too. guys. It's, it's hard. Do. It's hard just showing up being Dwayne, isn't it? Every day. No, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I don't have my sights set very high. So it's, it's okay. It's pretty easy. Uh, yeah, what's so <clears throat> obviously I don't frame I didn't know, works for uh, XCS, the Schumachers. And uh, I was thinking it was sorry, um were you mid thought? Can I interrupt? No, I'm not. Go for the floor. I was thinking today as I was driving here. I said, I wonder, it was Gina's birthday today or yesterday? Yesterday, I think. Yeah, and I was thinking, I wonder if Dwayne has just ever just reamed her out for something she was doing on a horse. Like, what are you doing? Have you ever done that? Or No. 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 
No, she's I, pretty good. I though. have told her when she's been making mistakes. Yes. Yeah. But not like Tom used to tell me. No. no, no, no <laughs> nothing no, like that. No. Contra- uh, constructive criticism. <laughs> but I think we've grown, both of us. We've grown. Yeah, yes. for, sure. for sure. And how you treat a young lady like that and you, that's two different things. <laughs> you know, it's not the same skill. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, apples and oranges. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're, you're a little apples more. Apples and rotten oranges. A little bigger than an apple. Well, you're, you're more like a gunner and she's more like a whiz or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. you just got to okay. yeah. use the right tool for the right job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yep, yep. That's fair. So you guys gearing up, to, I guess you're going to go to Tulsa. Yeah, we're going to go to school at Tulsa. And then... Uh, run for the million. Go try to qualify at Run for the Million. You got one. Obviously, Gina's probably going to show... She's got two. She's going to try. Yeah. She's she going to step you. Going to show Faithful. Yeah, going to step you. And then uh, the six-year-old stud. What's what, six-year-old? I'm going to show two. Be my last time I'm going to try that's it. Hey, what's if I the qualify six-year-old? good? If not, I'm never going back again. What? This is it. Well, you, you're not a quitter. No, no, I said I'm, I'm not trying to qualify again. This is it. I'm taking two horses I like, and if I can't do it, I'm getting too old. I'm too what? old. I'm too old. I'm not good enough. No. And gosh dang it, people just that. like me. I think I'm going to qualify. Oh, okay. Yeah, I but think you're too. I need, I need a goal. I think I'm you're legendary. Saying. I'm not. You want to put your back up against the wall. No, I'm just, oh. I have two good horses, and if I can't do it on them, I'm... I know where I'm at. No, I mean the thing is, you can't you can't have that attitude. You got to go in there. Well, I mean, win, lose, or draw. You know, shit just happens. But when you're still horse training and horse training good, it, it's a you, you know I look up to that because you're way older than me. <laughs> and I think if Dwayne can still horse yeah. train, yeah. If, if gives you something to look forward to. I got yeah. some time. Yeah, yeah. I got you some time. Time for you. Yeah. You start quitting, and then he's gonna start quitting yeah, even more yeah. than normal. Shit. I'm yeah. not quitting. I just said I'm not going to go. I'm to run try million, this one though. time. Well, that's what that's I mean. It. That's it. This is your last try. Yeah. I'm calling what? bullshit. Okay, so what if you qualify? Are you going to try next year, too? Well, we'll see then. Okay. I said this is the last. Right. I might change my mind. Man. Well, you can't say you're too old. That's You can't say that. Well, I have good horses right now. You know? Yeah, but don't you worry, Dwayne. If you go out there and you show like you're old and you go real slow and it's just, oh, uh, yeah. I'll tell you. We'll tell you. Okay. We'll, tell we'll be you. like, okay. dude. I appreciate that. Ask yeah. Todd Summer. Told him a couple times. <laughs> going too slow. Going too. Come on, Toddy Waddy. Made a difference, too. Showed good at the fraternity. Yeah. Big time. That's right. He did. Yeah. He, he called did. me. Absolutely. You see me? Step I went up. fast. You see me? <laughs> I know, Todd. I was there, but I was cheering for you. Yeah. You see there? me? Very good. Yeah, now, yeah, so yeah. what are you what are you showing? What are you showing? What's Gina showing? I'm going to show the um, pale whiskey, and then I'm going to show the Gunner Special Night. So that's a whiskey and diamonds out of the pale face mare that Craig won the fraternity on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then the Gunner Special Night is uh, Judy's a little moody. Okay. Oh, yeah. And he is how they're, old? They're both five year olds. Okay. So that's kind of the magic year for me usually that I like. Mm. And you said Gina was showing a six-year-old stud, huh? I can't remember his name. Uh, Guapo. She she was second on at the fraternity on him. Is it a dumb a trash out of Little Miss Attitude? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your days looking like now? <clears throat> what do you mean by what are my days looking like? Like well, you get up in the morning, you, know, you eat oatmeal. I know carbs. you, and I I mean I know you kind of like to be done early, I early-ish. Do. Yeah, I do. Still the same? Oh yeah. Hundred percent. You start early though. Well, I don't know about early. I start at you know seven. That's maybe early. Seven thirty. That's and, early. And you know, then I ride yeah. until I'm done. I don't stop. What time are you starting, Gunny? Seven. Mm. Good for you. Yeah, I get up at five o'clock every day. I'm a new person. And I, what do you do two, between two, five and seven? I watch TV. <laughs> I have a coffee. I relax. I. Get ready for your I, seven o'clock start time. I, you get mentally I, ready for your I day. I sit don't in the corner facing east and I go <laughs> <laughs> facing, home. facing east. <laughs> I well, think that's a thing. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, I like the fact that Gunny has finally figured out what it's like to have to work for a living. Yeah, I'm in some serious debt, you guys. <laughs> yeah. I got I to catch up. Just trying to pay the bills. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. And, and I don't know if you know, Dwayne, but uh, since the last time you were here, Joe's kind of semi-retired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, he's no. gonna get things going his way. He went on two vacations. Two vacations. Two vacations. Two vacations. Well, but I went on two vacations last year too. One was so. one week long, and one was two weeks long. Yeah. How many vacations you taken lately? About like that. Yeah. Or See? longer. See? Really? Yeah. Legendary. Okay. Ooh, Tom, right we're doing yeah, something that's wrong. How you do it. Yeah. That's we're how you doing do it. something wrong, Tom. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. so you head off to Montana a couple times a year. Yeah. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah. I do. And you like? I the, took three weeks this last after the fraternity this year. So I needed a break to. Yeah, but your horses are up. broke enough to do that. I mean, my own times. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> Well, I know. I mean, I don't know how broke yours are, but I know ours are always <laughs> like a little bit like that. You know, I have some I like this year, anyways. So. Did you get good snowmobiling? <coughs> no, nothing. Not really? a damn thing. Just no. Well, snow. I had one road ride, maybe eight nine miles, but that was it. There was no snow. I think winter's breaking you know early. I when I went up there to, I was going to snowmobile and do all that fun stuff. So what I did was, is I rented a skid steer and I cut up dead trees and did. You know, a week's work. worth of that's work fun, there. though. That's yeah. toy fun. Uh, yeah. I love driving skid steer. I mean, I, I like through a four skid chainsaw steer. blades. Oh, yeah, that's so awesome. things. I didn't did, did oh, some farming. Man. Well, I did. F- well, it's yeah. the only place just making it nice. Yeah, so. but no snow. That's a bummer. Yeah, it was a real bummer. I would say history says you're safer with a chainsaw than you are with a four wheeler or know. snowmobile. I don't know. No, you're that. pretty handy on a snowmobile. No, no, he gets hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, that's right. That yeah, was a yeah, on a snowmobile. Wasn't it? I thought it was a snowmobile. Just once. Oh, the four wheeler is yeah. when you hurt, yeah, hurt yeah. your tailbone. Yeah, when yeah. he had to when he had to ride and, around and, at the and, horse show with a donut. Yes, and a snowmobile too. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, on me once. That's yeah. right. But then, didn't you fall in the tub too? Oh, you yeah. fell in the tub here, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that was back in the drinking days. Oh, yeah. gotcha. But was that had to that had to do? That was the same time, right? No, was no, it the, no. It was three separate things. No, but oh. he still had the donut from the time before. Four. Yeah, yeah, so he's riding around at the donut with the donut. Yeah, I remember that. Never had a donut. No, huh? it was some sort of thing you no, had taped thing, on yeah. there. Yeah. Like one of those flying neck donut. pillows that he had taped to the saddle. Yeah, it was some. Is that what it was? No. no. If I oh. if I would have thought of that, I'd have tried anything. I can promise you. Yeah. 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 When your painful. tailbone's out of whack, it's not a fun time. Yeah, you broke your tailbone. Yeah, several times. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, I tell you, he falls down a lot. I mean, he's a really, really good horse trainer, but he falls down a lot. Walking well, I don't trouble think I fell once. The other times involved vehicles. Oh, four wheeler and snowmobiles. So vehicles, over on vehicles, you. and showers are tough for you. Yeah, I mean, my two tough times. That's that's an okay thing. I mean, that's normal for some people, isn't it? I guess. I <laughs> for, I personally avoid uh, for old people. I, I, I personally <laughs> avoid vehicles, but not. I not would tough. suggest. Try not to break your tailbone. Yeah. yeah. No, they say it's painful as hell. No, there's lots of things more painful, I'm sure. But no, I think it's kind of hard as a horse trainer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure somebody, probably his wife took the keys from him too. If there would have been snow on the ground, even. No, no, no. Yeah, might have been. <coughs> no, no. I've slowed a lot. I've slowed down a lot. Yeah, but you can't be, you can't be doing that too much because, like I say, you're in. You're, I got a little buffer there. Like I'm feeling, as long as Dwayne can do it, yes. I'm good for a little while. Right. It keeps you inspired. So you have to continue to be training those good horses and winning because I can still dream. Yeah, you got to keep us inspired, Dwayne. I think, well, we'll give her a whirl. Have yep. you done much of the side-by-side racing up on the track up there? No, I screwed around with it a little bit, yeah, just having fun and stuff. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Uh, yeah so let's back up. So Schumacher's built a... Like a mud track, track. pretty substantial a, track for yeah, a I, UTV side by side. Correct. Like a, yeah. yeah. Well, Anything yeah. you want. To yeah. The jumps and all the stuff. The, the kind of the kind of track you would expect them to build. Yeah. 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 I mean, some Schum- you would get hurt. Yeah. 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 Not our not it, the track. A, I would. It's build. in a twenty acre field. Okay. So it's got a little size to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. And you don't have your own personalized side by side yet. I do not. No, and I never will. Be- no. Why not? Uh, I'd have too much fun. I'm afraid I'd tailbone. Uh, tailbone. tailbone. Yeah. Right? Here goes the tailbone. Yeah. yeah. How fast those things get to going around there? I don't know. Because when you're going fast, you're sure as hell not looking down. I bet really? the. I bet. Yeah. I bet Ian's side by side will go 80 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet it sure. goes. That one, yeah, those ones would. Yeah. I bet those competition ones could go they up do. to 100 miles per hour. Well, didn't him, him and Robbie have some sort of competition? Like a, yeah, mud, they, a they, mutter yeah. competition. Yep, they went. They went. They ended up third, I think. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. Robbie. Robbie Berte. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Italian Robbie. He, right. Robbie. he drives good. Yeah. He drives pretty good. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty fun jumping them things and stuff. That takes a lot of guts to do that, though, huh? Well, yeah. That's how dangerous scary. is it? Because there's real well, I don't time. think there's anything you could happen to them because you're, you're <coughs> stuck in there. Like, you can't hardly move. I mean, you can do this. You know? Yeah, I saw yeah. a picture of that. It's got the whole... Yeah, they have everything yeah. around your head. Your shoulders are, like, locked in with a, whatever, four or five point harness. Yeah. yeah. You're not moving. We, yes. So you can roll it and you'd be I okay. think you would. I mean, I would, didn't do that. I don't want to do that, but, yeah. We went to Troy Heights once for the New Year party, and that customer of his cart took yeah. me out in a wash in a Polaris Ranger of his. We had helmets on, and that was about as much fun as a guy could have with his clothes on. Yeah. Can I say that? No. Dude, I'm no. so self-conscious about no. what I can and can't say now. Yeah. yeah, no, you're good with that. Okay. It was I mean, fun. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in the... In the side by side or with Kurt? No, hitting the side by side. Okay. I'm just, just just driving in the walk. <laughs> just right to clear. Yeah. Well, uh, we're tired. Oh, they're they're a lot of fun for sure. Yeah. So what do you do for fun? Get Me? A, yeah. You do something for did fun. You take up golfing. You no. lost all this weight. No. You working out? You working out all the time? You are working. Oh, I don't out. work out that much. Stretch a lot. I stretch a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you about used because you used to be like you used to be a big old boy. Yeah. Well, I don't eat as much. You were never a big old boy. Oh, yeah, he was. He just had a belly. It wasn't no, a big old boy. No, I had a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, he's a big old boy. I bet he's lost 50 pounds. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Yeah, so now we know the number. Oh, don't do that, huh? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Don't do this? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah. Okay. okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you've done it by... So this is a good... Hey, because I'm trying to lose weight. I can't, but you've done it by... But you've you, lost... It. You, well, you just I've lost thousands, thousands of pounds. pounds. Yeah, he I've has lost experience. Lost. Th- yeah. Hey, the book's coming out soon. I don't know. Well, many- see, that, that's what I told him last week. If he could, if he could write down this the diet that he does, we need to put it on Instagram, TikTok. It's yeah. gonna go viral. I think it would do good. Because <clears throat> you were saying, just eat. You can eat pizza, cupcakes, all that, just in moderation. You can eat all those foods, just less, and you will lose weight. Are we really that, going That's there? what it was. That's Are what we, you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right? That's what yes. you were saying. And you know what? That used to work. And, <laughs> and now, when you now. and I were having that discussion, it I was, got a little heated. <laughs> I, Because you were being an ass. Right. You're right. And I was, and you were wrong <laughs> I, until, until I got home and I got on the scale. Yeah. And man, that scale is a son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, and didn't you say you just punched it? Yeah, earlier? I did punch the scale. Took a little, uh, like a little skin right uh, off oh, the third knuckle. Yeah, it was the scale's fault. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I don't like that. That scale is not my friend. No. Yeah. Not at all. Well, when you expect it to be one thing, <clears throat> yeah, and it's not, and it's not, you feel like you failed in life. Yeah, you really do. Well, then don't use it. Yeah, like we were saying, the scale, the numbers. I don't know. Yeah, I really don't. Yeah, but you eat once a day. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I would kill somebody at three o'clock in the afternoon. We'll have a handful well, yeah, of peanuts then. No, he does prosciutto and olives. Oh, <laughs> or okay. grapes. Right. It was grapes for a while, right? Or popcorn. Well, he or was quinoa. quinoa for a while. Or popcorn, uh, quinoa, some, or hey, no? It for a while. Was it? It was something. It, Broccoli. Pistachios. That's what it pistachios. was. Pistachios. Yeah. pistachios. And, but no, then there was something else. Oh, something right? else. Like no, I just remember it was the grapes. Thing. It was grapes and something else. You know what? All fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. Well, at least you keep it fresh. Uh, what's that? Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been working on my uh, my reduction of swearing too. I've really I've been taking therapy on it. I've been reading books on it. So thanks for picking up the slack for me. Tom. Oh yeah, no. Well, these guys get under. They know. They know what gets under my skin a little. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I told Mandy right. the that's other day. Hot I was, in here, isn't it? Is it hot in here to you? I mean, no, I'm, I'm warm. Good. This is not don't a normal take the don't t-shirt take off. Shirt this off. is not a normal Tom McCutcheon esque house. You don't do the Burt Kreischer. Hey, yeah, you it is, turn it your is air lot, conditioning on yet. Yeah, you? it is a lot warmer. Yeah, one layer at a table. time. It doesn't offend me. To t- <laughs> it, it didn't offend me to show <laughs> belly on the show. Okay, you guys. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't offend me. It offended okay. the rest of us though. I don't care. I mean, my toes used to offend people. I mean, they all. Oh, that's guy. right. Yes. I lived my life. I enjoy myself, and I was hot at the moment, and I'm still yeah. hot. So, excuse my, me. My excuse balls me for a hot. minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, I tried to. I mean, I I looked at Mandy for just a little bit of, because I was, I was beaten down mentally. Yeah. I needed a little bit of support. Yeah. 
and that because I was frustrated. I don't know if I was eating that good, but there were several times I was hungry. Yeah. So that's a good sign, right? In a diet, I was hungry a lot, at least once a day. Yeah. And uh, I got on the scale, and I didn't. I didn't see any results. I think you need to ditch the scale. You said you got your genes that are your smaller genes and all. That's what you need to be going. You by. want to have a is when you can get in your smaller genes. I mean, what do you want to talk yeah, about? Yeah, I'm not buying it. No, that's what Dwayne. Don't you think? What? Rather than having the scale, he needs to see if he's doing good by his smaller genes. How the of smaller course. genes yeah, fit? That's see, pretty much all I do. The number is is crap. You can't go by the number. That's what everybody does. That's what screws it up. Got to figure out how you how well your clothes fit and how you feel when you're working and doing stuff. You're trying to go by some number that doesn't mean anything. What makes you a professional? Dwayne, what, what, right what? there. He's, well, he's the I'm one. I'm not that a professional. The legend. How about yeah, once a he's week? He's a legend. Huh? How yeah. about once a week? Weigh yourself once a week or once every two weeks. I did, and it didn't go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I punched it. <laughs> That's why. I, <laughs> oh hell. That's uh, why I punched it. Yeah. No. But this new diet's going to work great. Yes. No, like you said, the list that yeah. foods, it looks good. If you can yeah. keep to that. Yeah, no, I think no. it's going to be it's going to work like out really Dwayne good. was saying, do the yoga. You know what? Hey, Tom, you know, actually I got an idea. Yeah. I got an idea cuz I've been like pretty active with my doctor lately, getting my blood work done and getting all my shit going right. And you but, also have lost a lot I, of weight. I've lost some weight. I feel good. Um, they pulled blood on me last week, and as she's pulling it out, I mean, she goes, this is going to make you feel better. I promise you, you should donate blood uh, once or twice a year. Maybe you could donate, uh, you know, a pint of blood every six months because a little pint How much of blood. is it going to take more than that? A couple pints. A couple pounds. How much is it? A couple pounds. You could bleed yourself. I think it's going to take more than that. Right here. There's my doc. And did you feel better? Yeah, I feel great. So you could go give blood and then weigh yourself right after. That makes <laughs> yeah. you feel real good. Yeah, <laughs> it makes you feel better if you donate blood a couple days later. It makes you feel better. How Don't much? How one? much is a pint of blood? How many pounds is that? You think? Two a pounds. Pint? Two pounds. Two point two point four seven pounds. Gallons. I have no idea. What seven or water. eight? Seven or eight of water. Yeah, but I, I think blood, blood's though. denser blood. than blood's Probably. thicker than water. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You could bleed off five pounds. Huh? Uh, I could. Oh, man. This went sideways. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be talking to Dwayne here. Yeah, uh, this went sideways. Bad. <laughs> Do we have any videos we could queue uh, up where we can make hey, fun of Dwayne what? in front of Dwayne? <clears throat> the photo of you on going over the front on that cow horse from last week. Yeah. That's classic. You need you need to put that up again. Because you only had it up for like two seconds. We were talking to Randy about going down the fence and when Tom almost ate it in Ardmore and flew off the front. They That's found a great the photo, photo and posted it. Yeah. I'm such a fan it was of the great. show. I didn't watch. That was a great photo. We should have like talked about that more. It was, but it but I wasn't close to falling off. No, but I, I mean, you were you were out of shape, though. Yeah, oh, I was out of, out of shape. You could say I was out of no, shape. No, you yeah. weren't close to falling off. No, no. You were seventy-five but you were, percent of the way was there. Out of stirrup. You ever been down the fence? Yeah, he was at the times. same show. Uh-huh. He showed. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Did you show at that charity thing? thing? He showed at the charity thing, and they whistled his cow off of him, and he walked to the gate and he goes, "I'm not going back in there." <laughs> I was out of air. Oh, it was you, you? Were out of air. Oh, yeah, okay. he was fat then. <laughs> that horse I knew it. There was no way that thing could run again. Oh, his oh, horse really? was out there. Oh, the horse, oh, horse was, was out, out there. there. I thought Me you made you. Oh, oh, okay. Both of us. So you worked for Avila. When did you go oh. down the fence? Was it when you worked for Avila? Uh, a little bit then, but after I went back, I did quite a bit of cow horse when I went back to Alberta. So oh, you man. went to how old were you when when you went to where you worked at Avila? I went to Avila's. I wrote In my final exam and went there the next day so final exam yeah. for high school yes yeah. because yeah. you never went to college no no, no. just went to yeah and then so went to Avalos. yeah i did what was that like that Avalos. oh it was it was uh eye-opening i guess you know did you get along with him did y'all get along did y'all work well together yeah pretty good yeah no we had our times for sure yeah, yeah. who yeah. was there with you well, when I first got there, Tom St. Hilaire was there, and then Mike Edwards, Edwards came on board. Tom St. Hilaire's a great horse trainer. Yeah, I think yeah, he's, he's a, a great horse trainer. I learned a lot from him. But, uh, yeah, no, Avalos was good. But, you know what, we'd work so 
we'd worked so much at home and so hard that you know that was wasn't that hard yeah we're going there and working you know yeah because we it was were, just we, like at it, home. it was a regimented hours there and i'd never been around that so I, I it was probably a vacation that. from your not dad. a vacation no. but but no. But it was, wasn't that hard. But he's turned out a lot of good horse trainers. Yeah, he does. I mean, there's something he's doing right as far as, you know, what he imprints into everybody. There's something he's Attention doing right. Attention to detail. But, I, but you know what? I've seen – so you and I have known each other forever, and I've kind of seen your progression. I feel like when you really – when it really got good is probably when you came back here after Italy – and when you went to work for Loomis, it was like when you were at Carol's, Carol Rose's, you were like you were turning that corner. And then when you went to work for Loom, everything just took off. Yeah, probably. That's probably true. That's fair. That's you know. when you took legendary status in my mind. I was just a kid, as a high school kid. You want a million dollars in like three or four years, Dwayne. You didn't know that. I know you didn't know that because you don't keep track of stupid stats like that. But I do. I was a kid, very influenced. But you know what? That million dollars in three year, three or four years, then today it'd be two million. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that you could say that same. Like Bob would be well. You know, he's won what seven fraternities. Yeah, you know, six, uh, six. six, six. Okay, six fraternities. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, Bob and a lot of the older guys, right? I yeah, mean, for you compare, sure. You can't compare it because it's two different eras. Yeah. What was that like though, working for Bob? Was he riding a whole bunch whenever you went to work for him? No, I mean he still rode, you know, quite a bit. That first year, maybe two years, he he was still showing, right? Okay. And then then he pretty much shut it down. Huh. And just but he wasn't showing that much, you know. He was he was looking for a place to exit, and then it just worked out for me and yeah. him. Yeah, he had a lot of stuff going on, so it was an easy, easy exit. You know, I had some clients one time that that bought some horses from me, but they were into the Longhorns first, and I told them I, I wanted to breed their mares. They had a couple of brood mares, and I said, "Well, let's breed them to to uh, Top Sail Wiz." I said, "And Bob Loomis owns Top Sail Wiz," and they go, "Bob Loomis, the Longhorn guy." <laughs> Yeah, and that's the guy. They said, you know him? You know Bob Lewis, the Longhorn guy? So, I mean, Bob's had a huge impact. I mean, I think listening to people, I don't know anything about the Longhorn business, but he's impacted that business probably as much or more than he impacted the... Yeah, you're 100% correct. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they changed the way they measured the horns or sold yeah. them by the horns or something. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He, he, he's a big deal. Big well, he deal. pushed the competition. Yeah. So he he was he kind of created that whole thing. So yeah. or helped create it. He anyways. created but, the tip to tip on the Longhorns, right? He yeah, was the first like guy. There was stuff like yeah. that. He yeah. took that and made that a thing. And you know, not everybody maybe would agree with me, but I feel like I feel like when you went to Bob's, that was the tipping point for a whiz. If you don't go, mm -hmm. I don't know that he goes in the direction he does. And then you go to Bob's, and you come out with Top Gun and Conquistador, and he's being humble. See, he's, you, he's you wiggling, know, he's, not wanting to agree with you. But well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that helped, right? Because it just it <clears throat> there's enough good hands in the industry that they just have to see a, one or two people do good on them and how they did it, and they'll deal with them, even if they are maybe more difficult or you have to change what you're doing to make it work. And uh, you know, the industry as a whole, they figure that stuff out. And at that point, you weren't really, you weren't there yet. You weren't, you were no, on your way no, up, but you were, no. so, yeah, I mean, no, no, I know. so then, you know, you start winning on them and people think, well, if Dwayne can win on them, they got it. And then they found out that you had, you had a very good system for those horses. Yeah, well, think, think about it. I rode major bonanzas and then pepper prides. Guess what? The horses yeah. aren't that tough. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's fair. And I'm not taking nothing away from either of those families but they yeah. could do a lot but they were a lot of yeah for lot sure of, a lot of damn work for sure and i mean I, well, they were cutting more cutting bread bread to think and not the pepper prides but they you weren't know. pepper prides pepper the joe cody bread oh yeah. okay pepper pride was a horse in uh, italy lucio federini on that horse oh. yeah and he was a good horse he was a very good horse and uh yeah i mean that's but i mean anybody 
from that generation, from our generation, we've said this all the time on the show, the horses today, you can make mistakes on and they forgive you. The mm -hmm. horses we rode when we were kids, if you screwed it up, you were dealing with it for a month yeah. or forever. Right? They you agree with that? Probably forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, like a whiz back then, if you rode yeah. them wrong, you were paying for it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a different game. And I think that's where the gunners really change the game because I think you can make a lot of mistakes on a gunner and they'll forgive you and come back out the next day and just do it over again, you yeah. know? I think that was, to me, that's the biggest thing that I see about the gunner and a lot of the the next group of trainers that, you know, that they could be a little bit more aggressive and get away with making mistakes because those horses were more forgiving. You know, we didn't really have when we, he and I were, when you and I were first starting, we didn't, there wasn't so many specifically reigning bred horses. You know, now we've bred the best mares to the best, best studs for so long that, they know their jobs. Yeah. No, that's what about where certainly our, way, way easier. That's for sure. What about where our breeding is going? It there's a lot of gunner. Like uh what do y'all think about it being where you've been all over the world and breeding programs? There's there's not really I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's any real cornerstone stallions left because whenever I worked for you there was Little Rough Peppy and Shining Spark and Top Sail Wiz and Hollywood Done It and now everything has gunner on the papers, damn near. Yeah. And it's hard to get away from that. That's yeah. for sure. And what scares me a little bit that we've touched on a little bit before is with all these programs that takes so much money to put your stud in, it just take it just narrows the field. It narrows and the gene pool. It's good, you know, it's great. We all love winning the money. Yeah. I mean, I'm not taking away from anybody that's putting on these programs, but it is limiting because if you have a great mare. You want a breeder to a stud that's eligible for all that stuff. Yeah. And those it's only the top studs that can afford to do it. So I feel like it really And it it would cost a ton of money to promote an outcross. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and yeah. time. And time. Exactly. I had somebody call me the other day for they've got a cow horse that showed down at the Derby. And <clears throat> I don't know, he was in the top two or three of the rain work. And he was like He's a very, you know, it looks like he could be a very legitimate reigning or, or reigning horse sire. And they're asking me advice about how, you know, what should I put him in these programs? Or, you know, I would like to. It's it's tricky because you're going to put him in. Nobody, it, who's going to breed to him? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's so hard to promote those horses. So I don't know. We need the outcross. But he really, for anybody to even notice him, he really needs to come over here to, to the rain and horse world and win something for people to go, oh, yeah. I mean, a great outcross. Or if he had a couple of offspring on the ground that went the raining route yeah. versus the, right. that might make, yeah. Yeah, right. make more sense. Or and and by the time you get there, you're 100,000 in just in putting them in programs and do it, and you're hoping those two or three work and... Yeah. I mean, it's a, I mean, if you got a, you know, a, a huge bank account and just want to promote your horse, then it's easy. But if you're trying to make it work, it's tough. It's tough. And that's, that's what scares me right now. I'm curious as to where it's going. I'm just very <laughs> curious as to where it's going. Cause what, with all the programs, or yeah, just with all, all the programs and the pedigree, cause those programs are creating the largest gelding incentive we've ever seen. And a lot of the buyers are just looking for horses that are eligible for those programs. So, yeah, no doubt. So what's the solution? I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's a great question. It's a, it's a dilemma. And then, mm -hmm. I mean, the NRHA stuff pays enough. If you're not in that program, you can still have a very valuable horse. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. So yeah. the, the NRHA stuff pays enough, but it just seems like everything's getting incentivized to a very narrow group, like you said. So I wonder if it has standing power. I wonder if it has staying power, people giving that money 
year after year? I don't know. That's a great question, and I own several studs. I think as long as as the studs are breeding mares and those programs continue, I think the staying power is there. What what scares me is, you know, two things scare me that are kind of related. One is the shrinking of the gene pool, and two is NRHA and NRBC both set records this year for full enrollments. Where every horse trainer I know is full. Every horse trainer I know. We're we're riding 150 head. You know, I'm and everybody I talk to, I mean, I've sent horses to you and to Trent Harvey and to to Hava and I mean, I've we don't have enough room for them. Yeah. You know, so and I and I feel like everybody's in the same position. Everybody's full. I got room for you, baby. <laughs> Well, sorry, I didn't mean. <laughs> but you're full too. Yeah. You know, you you yeah. bailed me out because I needed some place to go with some with some horses. Yeah. And that's that's the only thing that I wonder a little about going forward is what's going to happen now. There was a lot of yearlings this year, and the the legacy sale and the NRHA fraternity sale both averaged higher than they ever have mm-hmm. so it hasn't been affected yet but when we quit keep throwing those numbers at the problem is we're not developing horse trainers fast enough right. you know I, to me that's the biggest problem in our industry is we are not developing horse trainers fast enough and i think it's i think it is good i think it's bad for europe that their top guys are coming over here but I think it's all it's good for us to have more horse trainers that are capable of training a horse. And, you know, some of the South Americans come in here and, you know, that's the biggest thing. I don't know. I don't know what you think, Dwayne, but that that's the thing that I think we're going to have to deal with more than anything. That's the a little bit the unknown is we're ha- we're having more Colts. There's 30. I, I think there's going to be. I mean, and that that's not our biggest year, right? No. The year so one said, right? Built, yeah, it's, it's getting we're, bigger. We're, build, we're building to the biggest yet. So, yeah, no, there's going to be a lot of horses around, and they have and it's to. It's going to drop the prices for sure. Not the good ones, not the ones that get trained, not the ones right. that are at the main places. But you know, there's going to be some deals around for sure. Do you think it's going to drop the prices because there's every horse show we go to? I mean, it's eight a.m. till ten p.m. It seems like right. I mean, we're busy. The NRBC was bigger than ever. The Derby had more entries than ever. Did the non-pro Derby not have... I don't think it'll drop the price at the top end even remotely. Yeah. That's not what I'm talking yeah. about. I'm just talking yeah. about the whole filling up. The there'll, there'll be some buys in the yearling sales, you're thinking. No, I think so, yeah. yeah. Maybe not right away. Well, it wasn't was last year. It wasn't last year. I don't think so. No, I, don't, I really there don't. It wasn't either. last year if you were thinking, oh, I want the ones out of the very best mares. There wasn't last year, even if you wanted a fifteen thousand dollar yearling. No, Mm-mm. I didn't. No, because the year before all. that, I bought six yearlings that were twelve, thirteen thousand, fifteen thousand, and this year I bought two yearlings, and they were twenty six and thirty three thousand. You couldn't touch anything for that fifty. I couldn't touch anything in those sales. You bought three. Normally, you buy ten, <laughs> yeah, twelve, fifteen. That- that is you correct. You bought three. Yeah, that's correct. When I walk away from a sale with three head, it's a good sale. Yeah. That means I, that I couldn't because, yeah, you sit there and watch me buy 10, 11, 12, 14. And, I mean, it's – it's so the sales are still good. But I guess what – I guess what concerns me is much – they have to be – they have to be better because recips are more expensive, bets are more expensive, everything. 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 Better. Better. Way more expensive. Yeah. What about what about yearlings and broodmares and stuff? Do you do much of that anymore, Dwayne? No. Yeah. No. You just focus on your. I am. I mean, I've got a couple of young mares that I'm gonna move back into that a little bit. We'll see. I got a three year old filly and two year old filly. What What are they? Well, Spook Scarlet. Cool. Well, he, and here's the thing about that. I think how you do it is the smartest way to do it because. 
You don't have huge numbers, but you do a really good job on the numbers that you have. And there's so much money to win now. We have no intention of having 150 horses in training. That was never our goal. Like that's, I don't, I don't want that many horses, but it is so hard for Mandy and I to, we, we remember the days of being poor. And so when somebody calls and says, Hey, I got a couple of two year olds I want to send. It's so counterintuitive for me to say no, Yeah. but we're to that point, you know, we're to the point where it's, I don't know with all the money there is to win. So the hundred X is new and wasn't it the number one payout this year didn't i see it was the number one show for payout i didn't look at statistics i don't know 2.4 million i think it paid out i think didn't i see that somewhere anybody know anyone Any, anyone anybody bueller research squad bueller that's <laughs> bueller all the stuff <laughs> that's all our shows no, I'm just no, 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 because that was at Tulsa last year. Are they yeah. calling the invitation? The whole show. Yes, paid yes, yes, yes. They're all calling yeah. the next by itself. Right. That's not going to happen right. this year. Right, 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 right. That show. Yeah. But it'll still probably pay the same, just not that show, because yeah. now they have uh, pay more because now they have the million in Paris, and I mean that that's that's crazy. I mean, a, a million dollar rain in Paris is phenomenal. Are you guys going? No, Gina going? I don't know if she is or not. She has yeah. no horses over there. Yeah. Maybe she'll oh. ship something. I don't know. Yeah. No, they have no horses, I don't think, left. Oh, really? Yeah, I think the last one came. But they still had the place. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. What if they had a boat that they could ship the horses on and build a track on the deck of the boat where you could ride them every day that you're on your way over on there? The boat. Huh? <laughs> on now the that, boat. Now, that that is a good idea. I'm with that. Huh? That sounds like fun. You could have just a big barge with a slide a track. Barge, slide Sometimes, track. Yes. Sometimes there's bad weather, guys. Yeah. This is yeah. what I, Dwayne, this no, is that, what I deal with. Be. No, you're right. You take those days The off. bad weather. You think my job's easy, up. Dwayne? This is what I deal with. Yeah. But you could have a cover I deal on with the, the arena. Customers. But I don't think the arena moving like this or like this is going to be too. Yeah, but be some, they have those pool tables on the There could be something to that. Level. Think oh, how coordinated those horses are like that. After a while, wouldn't they? <laughs> I, just a little I'm just going to inject a little bit of something that I know about that situation um, arena on a barge similar but no uh, <laughs> so a, you did that before <laughs> a, guy, a guy that I used to work for in Italy shipped a ton of horses from Argentina to Italy and they had a pretty good loss because horses don't do great with the movement of the, the, ship. Of the ship oh really like they, they just got sick yeah they would get sick and die. They lose oh. about twenty percent. Yeah, they? yeah. They, they had a pretty, really? they had a pretty big loss. How long were they on the boat? I don't know if the number's twenty percent, but it was a good loss. And so, he, Dwayne might, Dwayne might know because no, I'm making that. I'm not. I, I don't remember. We don't make shit up here, Dwayne. I don't know what kind of thing you think we're <laughs> yeah, running here. You said twenty yeah, percent. I did. Yeah, the yeah. number is twenty percent. <laughs> but I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah, we don't make shit up here. Nowadays, it would be way less. <laughs> but how long were they on the boat? Ah, uh, like how long's the boat run? No, how long's the boat line? You're smarter than me. I don't know. admit it, but for that yeah. stuff. No, you're right. I think two you're right. Three weeks, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, wow. I if I remember it correctly. Tough on the yeah. And then I guess they it just, is just better to put them on a plane. They just throw them overboard. Oh, geez. yeah, that's the part. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's that's dead. Dead. Well, what else uh, they going to well, do with yeah, them? Yeah, what, what else are they going to do with them? It's still pretty Think bad. Think of all the sharks well, you fed the whole yeah, no, that's way right, across yeah. the ocean. Yeah. Why is right. it bad? Circle of life. NRBC. Well, I mean, <laughs> just be a grown-up for a minute, will you? I mean, what else are you going to do with them? Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, guess. hey, it's still, tough. It's still tragic. Real life is doing tough, that. Joe. Yeah. Real life is tough, even yeah. though you're semi-retired yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's like the lion killing the antelope. It just happens. Yes. Yes. You know, you know what? I had this cut. Okay, I'm just going to yeah. get sidetracked for right a minute. In. I had this conversation with somebody the other day. I'm not a hunter. I don't shoot shit. I don't mind people that shoot stuff because I watch a lot of animal videos. A bullet, like a bullet is the best way. Oh, yeah. One of them things can die because if a lion gets it, yeah, they eat it and they start a lot of times from the wrong end and no, they're still alive. alive. Yeah. No, that would suck. 
That was kind of a downer, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. Can we? Well, you about... started. You started. Wait, with, yeah. Uh, throwing I mean, horses you know, overboard. Yeah. And then can we now talk you're about shooting. like a horse that Dwayne's riding or something? <laughs> yeah. Now? Can we move on? I mean, yeah. Let's yeah. move on. God. I don't even know. That was. Tough. I just. I mean, but it was real. Yeah. That's. It was worldly information. Yeah. For sure. The twenty percent of death rate. I don't. I don't know that it was twenty. It might have been ten. I think Dwayne was exaggerating. I think I was. But he might yeah. be right. I don't know. I have no what idea. about the cold spell that we had a couple of weeks ago? What did you do that <laughs> week? What did <laughs> yeah. I do that week? Yeah, yeah, you weren't riding horses. It was eight degrees outside. Yeah. Even ro- a Canadian. I, I rode one horse on Monday on the coldest day because that somebody was coming to look at it on Wednesday to buy. So then I wanted it to be gone. So I rode that horse Monday. You can't say Did that. they sell it? Did, did you sell it? You can't say that. Yeah, I sold it. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. You, well, didn't, want, you didn't want it to be gone. I mean, it has. It was a very yeah, nice it horse. It just wasn't good enough for his time. It is a very nice horse is what he meant to say. He loved it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wasn't sure. good enough. <laughs> no, it was good enough. We just wanted to sell it. Yeah, it's okay. good enough for somebody else. Yeah. Apparently. Need a new zip code. Hey, we all have those. Yeah. We are actually... We got a lot of really good horses for, for sale, sale right now. You guys need some horses. <laughs> TMRaining.com. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But so that was a kind of miserable for a couple of days. It was cold, yeah. man. Cold? Oh, it was cold. That was horrible. Hey, Not was, as bad as a couple of years ago. I was trying to sell some horses over here. Yeah. That's right. We had a, <laughs> Go we ahead. Were, we're talking. We had a commercial. <laughs> we had a, we had, I had two water tanks we could carry around with the skid steer to water everything. Yeah. Pulled all the yearlings in so they didn't go in a pond. That one time last year, our neighbors had one die getting out on the pond. Okay, we now we're back to oh yeah, that's dead bad. horses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, th- <laughs> two years ago we had three go in. Yeah, but you saved them all. You saved. Oh, them. you did. Yeah, yeah. 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 they all lived. So I didn't think a, they were going to, but they did. That's a happy, happy ending. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's a good story. <laughs> they were so cold. <laughs> Great story. Oh, they were shivering. Oh, yeah. Yeah. shivering. <laughs> Laying on the ground, <laughs> and then Man. that's a little. Yeah, whatever. No, Did any of them blankets on? Yeah, brought some hey, heaters. Put them in the heat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now that being straw. said, Pain heater. Read them a story. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, we got them up enough to get them to the barn. Did that being said, did any of them turn out to be real good horses? Because they appreciate that day. Well, or were uh, them, you know, that's a good question. Were any of them like rotten, study now? Like Brain damage, like, maybe. Yeah. They were the Phillies. Do any of them like have any issues turning to the left or stepping out of lead? Not or? that I remember. Okay. No. No. That's what, do you point. think it was all the dumb ones that went in the I don't know, maybe. Sometimes. Well, it would make sense, sense a little bit. Well, they're not really, they don't really know what ice is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. until they go through it. Yeah, that's fair. What else? Well, you, but. What else, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> what else, Tom? I I can go back to okay. We got a lot of good horses for sale right now. <laughs> Tmraining.com. Tmraining.com. Three nine one ride or what is your phone number again? Oh yeah, it used yeah. to be that. Is that still our number? <laughs> Three what it, was it? Three nine zero ride. Ride. Three nine zero ride. Yeah. ride. How about that? Seven four three. I've good. had that forever. Did you intentionally do that? Of course he did. Really. Of course I did. I guess I didn't. I How do you that. accidentally do that? I don't know. Thought it was just you know luck or something. I don't have any luck, Joe. Yeah. Well, you have three choices on each letter, so right? Yeah. In the old days. Yeah, in the old days. Yeah. 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 It can't be slot. That's five. Slid. Oh, slid. Past tense. Slid. Slid. Oh. She slid. I don't know when she did it, but she did one, boys. <laughs> How many horses do you guys keep around there in training? Uh, we're right now. We know you're full. Everybody's full. Yeah, no, I know that. But uh, yeah, so they have quite a few two-year-olds on the other deal. But like about sixty right now. We're right. Jeez, sixty that you're. That's running. a lot. Though. That's more than normal, yeah. right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody. Yeah. Are you having trouble? Are you are you okay with help? Well, I mean, we're we're right to the. Yeah, we're okay this minute. Right. You know what I'm saying? But no, we're going to be short too. I mean, we could use one more person, but those people don't exist. So you either start with yeah, someone so that's super green and start, you know, and I mean, Dwayne Latimer Rating.com. You find a job. No, but <laughs> go to tm.com <laughs> first. 
<laughs> yeah. Way more fun at our place. No, but that's... Probably so. I have never seen in... You're not on Facebook. No, I've I'm not. I've never seen no. so many people on Facebook looking for help. Yeah, yeah. Riders or just any riders, riders, riders yeah. any, 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 anybody. Well, really, I mean, it's going to happen. You just talked about why. Yeah, all the horses that are out there and yeah. coming, people, somebody needs to ride them. Yeah, yeah. we got to do something. Yeah, yeah, but we're not going to do nothing in the next two years to service that amount of horses. Yeah, nothing's going to change there. Yeah, LegacySale.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and the problem is, like, like we talked before. I mean, I think. So we have 150. I think we would be more efficient at 75 with all the money that they that is available to win now. It's not like it used to be. It's not it's not really like you've ever were making any money in the training anyway. But it gives you access to horses. So the the line that to find that tipping point where you're getting access to horses, but then you have too many to where you can do a good enough job. Yeah. And now we're on the road all the time. Yeah. And see, that's the bigger issue to me. And being away. Yeah, being away so much that, you know, how do you keep the the next generation coming along, the three-year-olds? Yeah. You know? Do you take your three-year-olds, your well, good I ones mean, with how, you? How can I take them everywhere? I'm already so busy with Gina and stuff and yeah. my own and stuff. And, I mean, I'm 61 years old. I can't be riding 20 hours or 24 hours at a horse. You're just a pup. Way older, just a pup. Way older than me, but uh-huh. you know, so it's hard. How old yeah, are you? To know what to do. A lot younger than that. <laughs> you fifty six, fifty seven. It doesn't matter. I'm just a lot younger than that. I think he's no, but four or five years. Yeah, fifty eight, five years old. Fifty seven. But, but for sure, fifty six. It is. I mean that because I know a lot of guys. I've talked to guys. Craig Schmersel told me at one point he took his three year olds everywhere. Yeah, everywhere they go, he takes. Them. Yeah, what do you think about showing in primetime finals, Dwayne? Do you do it if you only make primetime finals? Because Tom doesn't; he scratches. I have in the past. Yeah, yeah. I haven't lately, but yeah, yeah. 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 I just yeah. if um, I wanted to make a run for a reason, not for the ten cents that they pay. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. When are they going to change that? They need to up the cash in that class. I tried to get the NRBC board to put up like a hundred thousand. <laughs> They wouldn't go for it? No. No. Was it going to be a big Butter. draw on pay-per-view? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Wasn't it? And they wanted, they wanted like a, two or three, four old guys to talk some shit to each other and kind of build it up. Like the <laughs> UFC. The yeah. Yeah. That's the way. Let's not bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. <laughs> no. My bad. That's right. right. Quit smacking yeah. the table, too. Okay? Quit <laughs> smacking the table. That. Yeah. Don't do weigh-ins at the horse show. Yeah. You think you'll have anything for the uh, claiming class, Dwayne, at the NRBC? I don't even know what that is. Oh, my God. Yeah, we talked about that in Jason's episode, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've he never seen an watch episode. Show. Yeah, I've never He's seen never seen, seen an episode oh, of the show. No, not guys, one time. He's never seen Landon Nobody Hammer's watches classic. this show. We do it for Dwayne. fun. I'm sorry. I just He's never watched this show. Dwayne, today. it's okay. Nobody watches the show. We do it for fun. <laughs> I'm going to do and I'm going to do it, Jason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Elizabeth. It Elizabeth. <laughs> it hurts my heart. Yeah. That was heartbroken. We made fun of Jason on camera for doing that. Yeah, you don't look back at the... At the judges when they don't mark you exactly what you think shit. You when he score, walks out of the right? pen marking a two twenty six, he's shaking his head. Yeah. No, we oh, this horse was leaning. Yeah, it. he's unhappy every time he shows. That's not true. Yes, he is. No, he's lying right now. I would I say mark a two thirty one, win the fraternity, and, and I wish was happy that it, son of a bitch. Oh, you were? Yep. Oh, I thought I thought he could have done something yeah. better. I would say Never you are. Right. I just can't remember. Yeah, Gunny, you are ninety six point. Five percent. I'm closer to right than I am yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Hey, Dwayne, how's your horse ride? It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, man, he looked really good. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, man, he just really stopped really big. Mm-hmm. Looked like he stopped Don't one stop. there, Dwayne. Hey, it's yeah, okay. He's leaning a little, little left. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I can't help it. You can't smack me because there's a camera rolling. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, I think uh, for sure. Famous for that. Yeah. Famous, Famous for that. Yeah. Never. I've never heard him say, man, this thing feels great. You say it all the time. 
I don't know, dude. You, you ask Gunny. You go to the horse show. How are they riding, Gunny? Great. Dude, got, the best, got great. the best one I've ever yeah. had this year. Yeah. Best one ever, Tom. I'll bring him over. Yeah. I did bring him over. You just weren't there. When when have I ever? Really? Yeah. I felt like I'm always there. Yeah. Was it uh, Friday morning? I brought him over Friday morning at 7 o'clock. I was at your place. Friday morning, 7. Riding my three-year-old. Oh, I went to Florida. Yeah, you were gone. I told you. I told your help I was riding a four-year-old chromed out Mercedes. Was Cade there? No. No, because Cade left. No, he was packing. Four, right? Ah, uh, gotcha. I said, Why did you come to my house? Because I was, I picked up Pee Wee and I brought him to the vet and I wanted to ride my three-year-old there, my next generational talent three-year-old that doesn't have Gunner on the papers. What is it? It's amazing. It's a Come Walla Walla out of a donut mare. It's very nice. Could be an outcross. Yeah. Well, to some extent, but I rode him at your place. He was amazing. All of your help <laughs> stopped what they were doing. We're going, oh, my God. <sighs> what was that? I can't, I can't work. I have to watch. I can't and believe it. You got a video? Yeah, I got a video. Is he for sale? No. Oh. NFS. And I don't want to see the video. Yeah, no. we'll care then. Well, don't you worry. You'll see him. No. Good you'll deal. see him. What do you got for three-year-olds? You like your three-year-olds? I do. Yeah. All Tell right. us about I them. Feel, Three deep? I feel... And, but, hey, before feel, you get started, before you get started, Brian Bell told us he had one he thought was pretty special before the springtime yep. when we shot the show, and he won the fraternity on her. I don't want to jinx it for you, but he predicted his own future. You got one that's pretty that's special. Not a, yeah, that's not a jinx. That's like a manifestation. We could make <laughs> that happen. Sure. Dwayne, right. what I'm telling you is we could make that happen for you. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. You got one? We'll see. So I have a couple have? I like. Yes. What do you got? I have four Spooks Got a Wizzles. I've got a Walla. Out of what kind of mare? Uh, it's out of a wimpy mare that's out of a shiner. Is he nice? He can do some stuff. He can be He's study pretty. or... No, not anymore. Yeah. yeah. Need to be a geld. Yeah, they're all geld. Yeah, you're a big oh, fan cool. of geld. Yeah, I am right now. I'm too old to ride a stud anymore. I'm done with them. I don't want, ever want to get on a stud. Really? Yeah, with 100%. You? I don't want to ride a stud anymore. Why do I want to bang around and cripple myself beating them things up? Yeah. I get, I get it. I get it. You know, I mean, unless they're super kind. Yeah. Well, yeah. I if, mean, I unless they the risky one. stud. I mean, he's like a geld. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, but. Uh, Do you raise them or buy them? What's that? The horses, the three-year-olds. Oh, they're... <laughs> what else could I have been talking about? <laughs> help me. Help me. What else could I have been talking help about? Me, help we, me. We've kind of been bouncing different directions. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're catching them on all fronts here. It's, it's normal. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Raise them. X, XCS, we bought, uh, we bought a, a couple, and they've raised a couple. And then I have some more from Roxanne. And then I also own a mare. I bought myself a... This book's got a ways, mare. Cool. So you buy them as yearlings or yearlings? Two year olds. Because it's no, so don't buy freaking anything. hard to buy. We don't buy anything that's been rode. Yeah, it's, it's been so rode. hard. You like no, do it all we yourself. Buy yearlings. We don't trust anybody. No, no, we would, but it's just that's what we've always we did. We trust no one. <laughs> no, no one has the program that I have, Dwayne Latimer. <laughs> no, that's not true. Oh. It's just I suck at catch riding, so I gotta. Do and you and do a little deal a little bit. And you can't get catch riding. Come you on. can't buy them. I mean, you just can't buy them. I mean, we've we've said it before. Somebody can be living in a trailer house and driving a ten year old truck. They're not going to sell you their best three year old. They're not for sale. Not for sale. That used to be different. Used to be tremendously different. Yeah. Uh, you know, I remember in the days of uh, Tim used to buy go buy the best one every year. And you could do it. You can't do it anymore. No. There's you, too much you, money to be won. Yeah. Yeah. Too much. And thing is, the people at the, the those days were okay. This is my chance to cash out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, okay, maybe my trainer doesn't win, but I'll still get a bunch of money for that. Whole you'll, you'll cash out his three-year-old year, his four-year-old four year, year, his five-year-old five year. year. It don't be any good. And yeah. more than and I that, think that's what changed everything. Yeah. You know? yeah, and more than that, the best one every year back then used to stand out. You knew that was the best one. Now there's 50 of those ones. Like, now you're guessing, how good can I make this one? How good is he going to be? Is he going to show? Is he going to... 
I mean, the most nervous I am is the first time I walk in the pen on one, if I like it. If I don't like it, I don't care. But if I do like it, I'm nervous because I don't want I don't want him to go in there and not horse show. Because then you walk out scratching your head like, we've all been there, right? Yeah. Yeah, but how often does it happen if it's out of a true mother? Good mare. True, yeah. good, good mare. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's the whole thing anymore. I agree, but. You can ride 10 horses every day, 10 three-year-olds. And you could pretty much pick the top five, no matter what they look like, by going with their mothers did. Yeah, that's a good point. It's so true. Um, well, we're, we're getting low on time, so I, I actually wanted to bring up a topic in front of Dwayne because I know how humble he is. I thought I'd just put him on the spot. And me and Tom have had this argument several times before, and I'm very, it's something that drives me crazy as a, a fan of reigning, but I think people like Dwayne Latimer belong in the NRHA Hall of Fame. And there's a list of criteria. I'm sorry, Dwayne, but there's a list of criteria in what it takes to be an NRHA Hall of Fame that's going to keep you from being a Hall of Fame member. Unless you talk to me. For now. For now. Unless you talk to me. Because I think your influence in the industry has been far more massive than the bullet points that are on that sheet of paper for criteria. And I think that way for several horse trainers, actually, but... You would be at the top of the list. I mean, Todd Bergen would be another one that would be at the top of that list. So, uh, to 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 tell you that legendary and, and, to to at, to make a point that legendary is not full of shit. I'm not full of shit. I'm sincere when I say it. So, uh, and and what is the criteria that keeps him out? Uh, I don't remember, but it's like contributions to your well, you, association, yes. like being involved on committee. They yes. consider that being involved on committees. But to me, contribution to the association is the amount of people that he has influenced to be in this association. Right. I mean, there's, there's thousands of people that just speak Italian that are influenced by him. They don't even speak English that he's made an influence on. Mm, hundreds. Hundreds, not tens, that. tens of Ten, ones, tens, yeah. work, tens of ones, of yeah. dozens. <laughs> yeah, a couple, a couple guys over there yeah. that, that like it, and, and then you but, figure out all the ones he actually chased away, and it's kind of a like, eh. <laughs> it even yeah, back out. yeah. yeah I, don't know, I guess. Uh, sorry, Dwayne. I guess you're. I, I yeah, guess, maybe you're not. I guess what I'm saying though is I think that that those criteria. Um, they almost look down upon what you've accomplished in this business. They don't want just winners in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's fair. They have a criteria. I and it's their job is to, to fill it how they decide they want to. Well, and this is partially my platform to reach several people that say, I think people like Dwayne Latimer belong in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So it's just my moment to say it out loud. In front of not just arguing with Tom because Tom, whenever I have this argument with him, he's like, You're fucking stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. He says it all the time, he doesn't agree with Are that. you kidding me, <laughs> Dwayne Latimer? No, he ain't that I'm good. Just, I'm just teasing, <laughs> yeah. but, but no, I'm, there's, but there's I'm no, serious. but no, no it, it's a good point because I have not been part of anything to do with yeah, it. Yeah, but it shouldn't have anything to do with it. shouldn't have anything to do with it. I mean, up north, before I came south, I started up lots of associations and stuff, you yeah. know, and reigning yeah. and stuff. But it shouldn't have anything to do with it. No, well, you it know, it's, it's, no, it's their criteria. Nobody, okay, you're a hockey guy. Nobody in the Hockey Hall of Fame served on the hockey board of... <laughs> Yeah, I don't you're know. right. Yeah, you're right. But you know to be retired before they get turned in. That's why Yammer Yalger is yeah. not in the Hall of Fame because yeah. he's playing overseas. Yeah. Still. Well, you're close. Fifty one. You're getting there. Yeah. You're because I can tell by your voice. You're 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 putting your toe in the water. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go back to this Italy? is what I want to know. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> the food's good there. Yeah. This is what I want to know. What what's it look like for you? Well, Ten years from now. Ten years? Well, who the hell knows? Hopefully I'm alive. If you're alive. Yes. Let's let's just if say you're, if you're alive, Dwayne you're still up. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, riding five let's horses do, a day. Let's, riding no, your not own. In ten years. No. Riding one of your own? In ten years? Yeah. Riding I'm one of your own in Montana too. in I'm, the I'm, snow, I'm, going, no. God damn Wendy, I'm tired of this snow. <laughs> 
I can't get this horse broke. The snow is keeping me from getting it broke. Where's my skid steer? I'm going to go cut some wood. You can be cutting wood for fun in 10 years. Yeah, no. Sorry, we keep interrupting you. Damn it. Okay, well, who, who knows? I don't know. I really don't. I'm not going to show forever. That's all I know. Yeah. No, because we've talked about that, though. Yeah. Like, as far as, I mean, we enjoy what we're doing. We like riding horses. And yeah. when you start to think about maybe you won't do it, it just doesn't seem right. No. I'm always going to want to train it on, be trained yeah, on. Yeah, I don't mind. And I'll still train forever. I'm just not going to show forever. Yeah. Because at some point, your balance, your things don't cooperate. Yeah, but well, we're doing yoga, remember? We're, okay, we're, well, we're, yoga, okay. You know, it's pretty that tough, helps. so that helps. Still. Helps with the balance. Well, I want you to know, I mean, as you, get up, as you get up there in age, a famous Dwayne Latimer saying, you probably should apply it a little bit. When you think you're going fast, well, I should go gear faster. Probably. Could be. Huh? Could be. Huh? We'll see. We're going to be by that end gate at the old Scottsdale going. Come on. Dwayne. You're going to be there? Yeah, heck okay, yeah. All right. Good deal. I'm going to be there in flip flops and shorts. Yeah, and I, I need a little coaching style. on the side. So it'll be. Yeah, good. You know what? Uh, somebody as qualified and as awesome and as unbelievable and as great as me would be right there for you to tell Perfect. you how to do it exactly the way you need to. And you're you're loud enough, I'll hear you. So it's You'll all hear good. Me. Yeah. And Gunny's. He's one of the best I've ever seen as far as I have no being doubt. Loud. Oh, yeah. Being loud. Loud. And yes. I mean, like telling people how good he is. Yes. I've never seen anybody, anybody better. better. No. Yeah. He's he's pretty special. Sorry, I can't help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I. Absolutely. I yeah. got some new blades, I tell you. Blades? What are blades? Irons. Oh. Oh, yeah. You call them blades. Well, they're bladed irons. Small, little compact, hard ones to hit. Hit them good, though. God. Let's go golf tomorrow. You want to go golf? I can't golf tomorrow. I can golf this weekend. I've never yeah. golfed. I don't know how to golf. That's the best time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, they say they say that. They're always trying to get you to go when you don't know how to play. I don't get That's that. That's the best time. That can't be fun to it go with people It is absolutely can't fun. Play. You have no expectation. You just whack the ball. No. Yeah. I, I think it would ruin your guys' run. It would run. not. No, it wouldn't. Where do you, I mean, where do you, where do you play? Up at Rock Creek. Oh, you're, just you're still playing up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I but here's, there pick you up. That's the thing about golf. It okay. doesn't matter. If you suck, but we like you, it's fun. It's still fun. If you're great and we hate you, not fun. No, that's pretty fun because they make fun of you. Pretty tough to be around sometimes. What? Pretty tough to be around sometimes on the golf course. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it right. doesn't matter. I got a t-shirt. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm kind of impressed by the shirt. Yeah, I am too. And I'm that like, hasn't been woke yet. Yeah. I'm a little bit of... Dude, we used to do giveaways and stuff. We don't do that anymore. No. Well, why not? Because I don't feel like anybody was watching the show. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we have a hard time getting inventory to give away. I'll give this shirt away. I'll sign it. You just got to be a little, <laughs> little larger human being. <laughs> just slightly used, right? It's yeah. just been used one time. Yeah, one time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we should make some. Tom's Here's pretty good around the hole. Jason told Tommy's pretty good around the hole. Referring to golf. <laughs> yeah, Jason said that on camera. Yeah, we got to get him a t-shirt. You know, Tom's pretty good around the holes. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, if somewhere, some gal is going to want to buy that shirt right off your back. But the downside is that's going to be a big gal. Hey, a fan as a fan. Hey, no, that's that's bad. You don't want to be shaming anybody right now. You freaking shame me every day. <laughs> I mean, you're a guy. No, just, no, no I don't. It's Joe just been this shamer. last week. Joe, it's Joe just been this people. last week, right? Imagine, just about. Yeah, he gets more offended by it than any woman I've ever met. Trust me. And I wasn't. I wasn't. Me. I wasn't shaming you. It's just more your diet. Your idea that your diet is actually helping you. Oh, we're back on this. <laughs> hey. You know what? I felt like I was hungry at least once a day. And that's a diet to me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, Dwayne, yeah. thanks for coming. Always All right, fun, guys. Man. Thanks. Good Appreciate to see you. Appreciate right. it. Be good. Good luck right. in Scottsdale.
We'll, yeah. be, I need we'll it. be rooting for you. We'll Don't weaken it. because I always have that cushion. I think if Dwayne can still do it, I still yeah. have a few more years in there where I can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've I already am qualified your, for the million. I, I have a, what? You've already qualified for the million in the past. I haven't. Yeah, well, but you showed in that's it. That's true. Yeah, well, because it's. They let me, the old guy got it the first time. No, they, no. they let you show because you're good, because you're Dwayne yeah, Latimer. That's yeah. right. You're I was second Latimer. to last. Yeah, but that was just one show. You were, But you were last. Yeah, but you yeah, were last. That's true. I was <laughs> happy about that. Hey, you were 11th place. You were just one place out of the top 10. Who was last? <laughs> Matt Mills. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. He was the last cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, <laughs> that's you. Put did that there. on a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, since the, since the last good. time you were here, I got I got a new title down here on on my block of letters that they put up when they introduces a million dollar rider. Million dollar rider. Yeah. Not to talk about myself anymore, but that I was pretty cool. I just thought I'd shoot that in there and talk about pretty myself. Pretty cool. Yeah. I learned it all from Tom. Yeah. That's I mean I learned how to talk about myself from him. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks everybody all right see you guys grow the show